Let's play some Black Sad. It's it's like the butt her emails meme, but it's just like. <laughs> but the costumes were hot. <laughs> All right. We de so successfully defeated him, Adam Wyness. Yeah, Adam. There's He'll a... never give a movie a six out of ten again. Hmm. What does this place have to hide? He lives in this trailer now. Can I just open this back up and look at him? <laughs> <laughs> Always awake. <laughs> Don't you even <laughs> think of screaming. I might not even talk. Hit us with your hot takes, man. So I saw the inside of this trailer, and it wasn't very good. <laughs> Synecdoche, New York is the best movie ever. <laughs> it looks like an arrowhead. If Adam watches this, hey Adam, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Tell Scoot we said hi. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. What do we want to ask? Probably all the questions. What's Mitchell up to? Mitchell? What Mitchell? Answer my questions, and I'll protect you from Mitchell. What? As soon as he finds out you've talked to me, he'll kill you. Just like he did to your partner, Randall Lee. And you want that was your incentive for him to talk? I don't know what the, the hell talk? you're talking about. <laughs> if you talk to me, he'll kill you. So you should talk to me. <laughs> Where did Mitchell go? Damn, are you in love with this guy or what? Maybe. Yes. What's this warehouse for? It's where I take my naps. I thought that was obvious. If you don't answer my questions, you'll spend the rest of your life in Sing Sing. Only if I don't answer? Come on. I'll give you a minute to think about some more convincing answers. It's genuinely funny. Wow, that was like crazy reverb. Uh, it's genuinely funny just like putting the little <laughs> little cloth over his mouth like that. Yeah, that'll shut him up. The comic, a little I I have the flu cartoon cloth. Yeah, <laughs> someone just went to the dentist. It's so it's so strange. It's also like it's only possible because he has a just like. Absurdly hmm. realistic horse head. <laughs> yes. In a, in a in a game where they cannot decide how much they want to hmm. anthropomorphize first be, have animal heads on characters, like Black said, just has a human face with less nose than normal. Yeah. He's got a squished little Batman cowl of a head. Well, I need help. They... Who would I call? I don't know, Smirnov. <laughs> Who do we want to call? Smirnov or Weekly? Uh, Weekly. Okay. Why does Dirty this? Boy. Why would this have a timer? Though <laughs> they just put timers everywhere in this game for no no good reason. Pier 36, the 6th sea facing warehouse coming in from Montgomery. John? Is that you? Meet me in an hour. What's going on? Bring your camera. I just gave you the scoop of your life. Uh. <laughs> okay. Bring an ice cream cone. Oh, I would love ice cream right now. <laughs> in this setting full of, like, sex and drugs and violence, and then you have funny animal heads. You just you get, you get a character like that, and you're like, hang on. It's According so... to this, the warehouse belonged to a Canadian import company. I'm forced to imagine the logistics of all of these regular human-faced women making out with, like, the entire <laughs> ass horse yeah. head of a man <laughs> who has, like, nostrils larger than your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, what is what does Smirnov's wife look like? <laughs> <laughs> we know she's just a little dog lady. Yeah, she's got a little flat face dog face thing. Pretty, I'm pretty sure we've seen Smirnov's wife in the in the comic. 
If I'm not mistaken, these are incense sticks used in cleansing Sage rituals. Sage brush and incense, I guess. That's convincing. A dream catcher. It's supposed to protect children during the night, trapping all evil in its spider web. That's kind of... Hmm. I wonder why this is here. It could be an Ojibwa totem pole. In which case, the top animal would be a crane. I stand corrected. Dorothy does have a muzzle. Dorothy Smirnov. Gotcha. But it is little itty bitty. Alright. There's an addict she's Native American. Whole, she is stuff. not a whole ass German shepherd. She's a she's a I think she's a golden retriever. Alright. Let's see. Uh Oh, we have we have one of these things we can do. So Horace works for Mitchell wears an arrowhead around his neck, and there is an attic full of Indian objects in the poor warehouse. He's Everything seems to prove that Gil is a Native American, and I'm almost sure that the woman in the picture is his mother. How would that help us? I'm just sad we Gil, can't spend a game Gil, with Gil, Native American. <laughs> How profound. <laughs> He solved the case. This will surely allow us to get the get uh, the upper hand on him. He'll find out that we've discovered the secret he's been flagging very openly. Isn't that like somewhat confusing coding if you're gonna go for like a species for a Native Americans? Cause like, no horses are native to the United States. <laughs> no, horses are native to the United States, I'm pretty sure. We have wild horses. <laughs> Let's see. You know who always believe in you? Your mother. My mother never lost her faith in me. And I gave her plenty of reasons when I was a kid. Horses seen in the United States today are from Europe. There were some horses once in the United States and they went extinct 12,000 years ago. Hmm. I was pretty sure Science. that we had. Uh, I thought. I thought there were Native American or not a Native North American horse uh, horse types. I guess not. that's why you have those racist stories. Like, what are these demons? Whenever they talk about like the perspective of the Native Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The white man came riding horrible monsters. Hmm. Let's see. Uh... It all started with something as stupid as keeping the change when she sent me for groceries. Then I started stealing fruit from the street stands. And finally, I turned to pickpocketing. Somehow, my mother managed to keep me in school until I got into college. But I never gave her reasons to believe in me then either. I made new friends. The type of friends that convince you to do things that wouldn't make a mother proud. Then Pearl Harbor happened. I got drafted and sent to Europe. They told me killing was my moral duty, but I discovered it could be addictive. <laughs> like None of these choices. Nazis. <laughs> but when I got back, I was treated like a pariah, a veteran outcast who never should have come back in the first place. And yet, my mother never ceased to... Ah. I didn't like that. Me neither. <laughs> I also fought in the war. That's where I met Mitchell. They used me, like many of my people. And then they just tossed us aside. The first time Mitchell offered me to do this, I told him to take a hike. I wanted to get my act together, but I ended up begging him. I don't like Mitchell. I don't like the things he makes me do. I don't like that German rat either, but what I like least of all is myself. Hmm. German we rat? Really had a break I don't like today. what I did during the war, and I don't like what I'm doing now. Do you know what it's like to kill a friend for the sake of the mission? Huh. Love can bloom on the battlefield. <laughs> but my mother. 
<laughs> she always thought I'd make amends and start anew. I just realized there's been no music this whole time. Yeah, it's just kind of a silent scene, which makes the spaces between each line really stand out. Maybe it's time I did just that. It's number three. What's number three? <laughs> the evidence thing. Uh, anyway, uh, what I was saying was uh, that the the various like line deliveries and, and and choices that we have like never seem to fully match up with what's being said. So you get this like sort of fallout four ish like issue of like i'm gonna pick this option and then you just say something completely <laughs> unhinged and you're like that is not what i intended to say like when it said like i was a ruthless soldier i thought black sad was just gonna say i'm a ruthless soldier but instead he was like i got addicted to killing and murder yeah. was fun and not all of them were in it were guilty and it's like oh my god it got weirdly <laughs> dark for him in a way yeah and just the approach of them just bonding over being soldiers on the fly is quite quite the gamble the reason i laughed is because i'm just never fully ready for you just to pan over and just reveal o'leary's wife getting railed periodically <laughs> yeah it's just always <laughs> looming in the clues What if it was Gil who killed his partner, Randall Lee, under Mitchell's orders? Why is Black Sad's internal monologue echoing in this room? He's <laughs> <laughs> actually saying it out loud. He can never stop. He's actually been saying it out loud the whole game. <laughs> Everyone can just hear him as he comes off as this like unhinged psychopath. Yeah, especially all the wrong guesses you make. You make the wrong guess, he just says three random unrelated lines back to back out loud in the middle of a diner. O'Leary's wife is having an affair with a screwdriver. <laughs> Alright, so it's like a hidden compartment where where we presume things are being hidden. This is like uh, the silver case. Look, they're, they're going to do, do the, the transition, transition again. again. They're going to do, gonna it, do it, it again. Look at him go. There he it's is. Even... <laughs> I feel like the part of the effectiveness of that shot is you not seeing it coming. <laughs> yes. And you're like, oh, smooth. But they do it so often that it's actually just like, all right. And like in that case, it took long enough that you were like waiting for them to do it. How? How did we time that? <laughs> We had time for a forklift. Hyena boxer. Woo! We'll have to look at all the cards later. I think I probably. I was got just I was like just about to talk them. about how like I'm sad we don't get to spend an adventure with Glup Shido. Yeah, it's a real Dean shame. Dean What's his name? Dean Bleedo. Um, go away. Hey, Neil Beedo. It's all right. Don't be afraid, little girl. Ah. Uh, 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 I'm terrified of this character design. What the fuck? Who is this? I don't. I don't like this design. I'm upset. I'm a friend, okay? Vita, no her. Oh, the German rat. Ah. Uh, the German rat's daughter. She's a rat, I guess. But. At what point in the story was this part of it? Is this just a, know. a mystery we're stumbling into? Yeah. It's like if the ending of... <laughs> uh, was it the girl with the spider tattoo or whatever it's called? Like, if that just fucking hit you, but without any of the lead-up mystery? <laughs> the girl with the dragon tattoo is actually dragon two and a tattoo. half hours of a nice vacation. <laughs> and then yeah, the ending is just a nightmare. You just time. find this basement. Or the ending of uh, uh, Once Don't upon breathe. a time, there was a brave, seafaring little girl called... Brunhilda! Hi, my name is Brunhilda, and I'm very happy. I'm Said Brunhilda, losing my mind. Brunhilda, who had a beautiful name, 
Really beautiful. A really beautiful name ran into someone very special. Oh, who was it? Okay, help me out, chat. Where in the comics is Black Set established as being an, as an impressionist? Because <laughs> he keeps doing it. This is like the fourth time. It's superpower for this whole game. It's, it's his most consistent method in this game, is doing impressions. It's so strange. I don't remember that issue. Uh, a fierce dinosaur called... No fun. Nine. Oh, okay. Sure. In fact, it was really... A sea cat called John. I'm How does this keep coming up? God. <laughs> oh That's your God. impression of yourself? I'm John the cat. I really like sea cat. Hi, bro, Helena. I'm going to use my sea fairy wisdom to help you. I'm upset. I'm upset. Yeah, I'm I don't like this. To... Nice. You sad. You say silly things, John the cat. So what are you going to help me do? Fill up a bunch of color balloons. <laughs> I love balloons. What's your favorite balloon color? Wow, that's a very hard question. <gasps> but John the Cat, it's the easiest question in the world. Let me show you how easy it is. My favorite balloon color is... <laughs> pink. <laughs> wow, bro, Nelda. Mm. You crafted the perfect That's story exactly for Brunelda. <laughs> 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 John Brunhinda Front. <laughs> oh my god. Please feed this child. Do play each look. What is her face supposed to look like? I'm so upset. <laughs> okay. Hi, bird. Why are you wearing that mask? Well, uh, God. Uh, well, maybe we should get out of here. What do you think, bird? And what about you, Boonhilda? Uh, Don't you think that? Uh, Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> he just walks away. <laughs> just close the door. Uh, Did she just pass out? So. What? <laughs> so what? Uh, what is going on? Upsetting <laughs> Nazi bunker for some reason? So why... I thought this was about a boxing ring. Me too. There's a guy who owned a gym and he got strangled. What the fuck does it have to do with German experiments? Yeah, who is Brunhilde? Who is the German rat? What does this have to do with anything? This was not. <laughs> that guy looks all. as confused as we are. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I am so beyond understanding what the hell is going on in this game. I need help. I need help. Neil Beto, help us get to the core of this. I need your I need to be saved. Let's take a quick break to look at our, our cards. I, huh? I can only Shall be we? saved by Neil Beto, the best black sad character. He can never be in a game because he's in a self contained story and I'm sad. We have like none of these. <laughs> Oh, each page is a different sport. We, yeah, we haven't clicked. Look at the goofy polar bear. Is that what it, it won't is? like let me select them, which is annoying. What? Where is that card coming from? The other page. It's the one that's oh, selected that's by default. <laughs> it doesn't let me it just, cycle through it them. It just flies at you from a different page through yeah. the paper. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I look Nothing at the else. Art. Nothing else works. Why would this? Who the, who's that dude? Look at him. <laughs> I can't. I can't look at him. I mean, like the guy in the background of the boxing page. I want the raccoon beast, this, right there. This beast, this beast of a man that you can't. You're apparently supposed to cover with cards. 
Yeah. But he already looks cool. I want to see the raccoon, but it's not. Who did the art for all these? It better not have been the actual artist. Like, that'd be such a waste. We got the original artist for Black Set. Oh, what should you do? Draw, like, 50 collectible trading cards. That don't work. Is my <laughs> D-pad just not working? And it has nothing to do with the narrative. Because it's not letting me cycle through the, the prompts. Ugh. One of the strangest things is that they've had, like, comic sequences, but only, like, once or twice. <laughs> oh, no. Are you Okay. Oh. Uh, the game just like isn't letting me cycle through the prompts because I opened up the Hall of Fame. Did opening now the cards I, break the entire video game? I think so. Because now you have it's to, like, not. Quit to title or something. See, I can't. I can't select. I can't. Nor I can't use the D-pad to cycle through them anymore. I didn't uh -oh. play this game at launch because I was waiting for it to get patched because I heard it did did what did poorly at the end. Years did not fix that problem. No. <laughs> they just didn't, I guess. No, this is a disaster. This is brutal when it's like this like well beloved comic and it's like one that specifically hadn't had a new entry in years and years. And this is like our look we get back in the universe after all these years, and it's like the half formed nightmare of a game. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> this is We've been bouncing between a number of increasingly surreal experiences that are just quite a thing to wrap your mind around, and we're playing them all at the same time. I mean, it's like, it's fun jumping from Password to Fear and Hunger to this, and just not having a grasp on reality. Oh my god. It's just not, it just doesn't work anymore. Hey, I might have to shut off the game right. and turn it back on. Don't be like it just girl. it's possible yeah and i have just broken oh my god and it's not letting me it's not letting me switch to pc controls either just one just one look at the collectibles menu broke <gasps> the entire game how did this so happen that, to us it's so hard that quitting the game doesn't fix it all right uh this yikes is pretty impressive is incredible i can't okay. believe this game how did this happen to me? All right, I uh, made a mistake. Share the video. And only like four people are watching. You fools. You're missing gold. You're missing the, the beauty of Black Sad. How can you not watch this live? Now you have to wait months for the real thing to come out. Or whenever it comes out. <laughs> Uh, can we just have one game that isn't a nightmare? <laughs> can we just play one normal game? <laughs> yeah, Arches. No. That was our one. We spent it. Now oh, we don't get any more. No. How did this happen to me? I can't believe that it broke so hard. Oh, I have to reopen the stream. I can't just leave it where on the screen it was already on. Okay, there we All go. All right, there we go. I got my cursor back. Guys, the video game's a video game, and again, don't worry. <laughs> it, it plays. All right, well, that was only a minor detour. We're good. Who the hell is this dude? Look at his teeth. What? <laughs> what? What is the side plot? Look at his funny ass teeth.
<laughs> this is not what I was expecting this part of the game to be. Like, by the time you get back to the Rottweiler, he's going to be like, I'm sorry, what the fuck? I didn't sign <laughs> yeah. up for this mess. What is even happening anymore? We were here to, like, do an illegal boxing ring. <laughs> like, what's going on? Oh, sounds like chat doesn't have sound. We'll fix that. Why don't they have sound? It is on the correct thing. Says it's recording. Craig Spanor. Treatment. De Siro. The subject is a veteran baseball player who has lost speed, strength, and agility due to the regular aging process. The patient refers intense pain on the right scapula most likely caused by an old injury. The goals of our medical approach are twofold. To relieve pain caused by the prior injury so that the subject can play without symptoms and to help the patient regain the physical condition lost in the aging process, thus allowing him to perform at elite levels. Treatment. Day 120, the patient no longer feels pain <laughs> the when the audio is just getting cut off. <laughs> circumstance yeah. that allows him to pitch without fear. So far, the only side effect seems to be a slight euphoria experienced three hours after dosage, which subsides four hours later, taking the patient on an emotional roller coaster of sorts with bouts of mild trembling. Treatment, day 341. Moments of euphoria and boosted physical performance have become increasingly short while the ensuing periods of <laughs> depression and weakness have become longer, including severe trem. Although we have met all- <laughs> Oh my God. He's getting more and more every single line. To terminate the treatment in order to avoid causing irreparable physical and mental damage to the patient. All right. It's like, follow this complicated explanation, explanation during this crazy surprise reveal thing about what's happening in the story. By the way, the cutscenes are broken. <laughs> <laughs> New twist. What the fuck is going on? Oh, so my God. So they're... They're using like a hormone treatment to make super somehow related athletes? to chemical agents or something i guess so bobby yale so it must be this is why bobby yale had a heart attack because they're doping up are they doping up the athletes and is is spano the one behind it so that's our explanation for why he's fucking three times the size of any other character <laughs> All right, let's uh, save the girl, I guess. Oh, the doll is floating now, and the girl has disappeared. I can't interact with the girl. Did we just get hard locked? Um, uh, well, there's probably a restart chapter feature, which we might need now. Um, how did this happen to me? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I remember making more progress in the investigation. I don't remember getting this? to this to this, but wait, where is this taking us? I don't know. Oh, it's just taking us down here. What is going on in the game? Are we gonna need to go back to Gil? Maybe. Hey, it's all right. Don't be afraid, little girl. Oh my god. Yeah, it like mega glitched out. <laughs> what is happening? What? Uh. Uh. 
On some level, I'm just upset by the idea that the previously on screens are supposed to be a recreation of the comic. Yeah. Because they're just not interestingly framed or rendered. It's just a bunch of awkward people sitting still. And like It's like... We, we, we made a comic that's drawn entirely in shot reverse shot. And I'm like, that's the least interesting thing you could do. <laughs> All right. Uh, the question is, do we have the key or do we need hmm. to solve the puzzle again? What does this place have to hide? We have to I solve the puzzle again. The key. All right. We'll just quickly run through the conversation, get weekly here. Yeah. Will I need help? Who would I call? forget we can't like skip cutscenes. No, that button anyway. Maybe it's a super secret button. You have to hold left oh, and yeah. right yeah. stick yeah. down plus B and A and right bumper. Warehouse coming in from Montgomery. John? Is that you? Meet me in an hour. What's going on? Bring your camera. I just gave you the scoop of your life. Just like the weirdness of like I think in Tears of the Kingdom you have to like kind of like wiggle some sticks to make the prompt come up in the bottom right that says you can then hold B and then you hold B for several seconds to skip <laughs> the the Blood Moon cutscene. Just starts to feel increasingly esoteric. We're like, this just let me not watch the scene I've already seen too many times. It's fine. All right. That's sweet. It could be an Ojibwa totem pole. In which case, the top animal would be a crane. That doesn't is actually that helpful to know. Yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do with that information. Why does she get a whole ass horse face for a woman? If I'm not mistaken, unusual. these are incense sticks used in cleansing rituals. A dream catcher. It's supposed to protect children during the night, trapping all evil in its spider web. All right. There's so much sexual dimorphism in the Black Set universe that it's, it's, it's strange that the, the grandma or whoever that was had just has a horse head. Well, I don't know if I want to see them come up with the According half of this, a horse head. <laughs> <from> where <laughs> has belonged to a Terrifying. Yeah, you think a full horse head is scary. Wait till you see a horse head with human facial features. Uh. <laughs> All right. Don't you even <laughs> think of screaming. I might not even talk. All right, we got to look at... Necklace. It and looks then like put an together arrowhead. that he's Native American. Everything seems to prove that Gil is a Native American, and I'm almost sure that the woman in the picture is his mother. You know who always believe in you? Your mother. My mother never lost her faith in me. And I gave her plenty of reasons when I was a kid. It all started with something as stupid as keeping the change when she sent me for groceries. Then I started stealing fruit from the street stands. And finally, I turned to pickpocketing. Somehow, my mother managed to keep me in school until I got into college. But I never gave her reasons to believe in me then, either. I made new friends. The type of friends that convince you to do things that wouldn't make a mother proud. Then Pearl Harbor happened. I got drafted and sent to Europe. They told me killing was my moral duty. But I discovered it could be addictive. Not all victims were Nazis. But when I got back, I was treated like a pariah, a veteran outcast who never should have come back in the first place. 
And yet, my mother never ceased to... <laughs> Such a funny scene. So upsetting to look at. I also fought in the war. That's where I met Mitchell. They used me, like many of my people. And then they just tossed us aside. All right. The first just time like Mitchell offered me to do this, I told him to take a hike. I wanted to get my act together, but I ended up begging him. I don't like Mitchell. I don't like the things he makes me do. I don't like that German rat either. But what I like least of all is myself. I don't like what I did during the war, and I don't like what I'm doing now. Do you know what it's like to kill a friend for the sake of the mission? Huh. But my mother, she always thought I'd make amends and start anew. Maybe it's time I did just that. It's number three. Okay. All right. Now we're back. Now we're back to speed. They keep, they keep showing those hairs bugging out. There's like a weird needle of hair sticking out of his ponytail every time he looks <laughs> down. And then Black Sad's weird eyes that are like, they, they, there's a part where those eyes are closed like he's thinking, but he's also still blinking because his eyes aren't actually closed all the way. Some really unnerving elements. What if it was Gil who killed his partner, Randall Lee, under Mitchell's orders? You can kind of see where they went for with this character, where like they wrote him a whole backstory and everything, and but then they just had to like awkwardly jam all of his story into like a little bit of environmental storytelling upstairs, and then just an info dump he comes out of comes out with out of nowhere during a conversation, because ultimately he's just in like one scene and then you never come never come back to him. Yeah. So it's like the, it's like a the script writers like couldn't kill their darlings like but i made this whole oc and i want them to sparkle so they, <laughs> yeah. like, they just put they just have him awkwardly exposit his whole backstory and then just move on and never talk to him again like he's not part of the story bye so what is what my question is what are these things supposed to be this is a warehouse yeah i don't i i feel like i recognize this as something but i don't know what i don't remember what it is exactly it just reminds Here's me something of something in the silver case. That's all it reminds oh, me yeah. of. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Here's something you'll be delighted by. There's a thread in the Steam forums in 2020 asking for the ability to skip uh, dialogue that you've seen before and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And the developer that responded said, Hello, this has been forwarded to the devs, but I cannot promise you that something will be changed. Indeed, it would mean a complete overhaul of the game, and it's more likely to see this kind of feature in upcoming games. Best regards. Oh, my God. So the monkey it's just such a followed huge us in change. Here. It would take a sequel. The monkey followed us in. Yeah, he just followed us in here. That he the, he was the one who climbed in after us. I didn't really see it clearly the first time we saw that. I guess I misread the scene last time. I thought he. I thought we were ahead of. Him. I thought we were following him last time. No, that was that we went in well, and then he went in. What's the name of uh shit? What's the name of the cat again that died? The cat that died? That the Joe case is Dunn. all about. Joe, Joe Dunn. Dunn. Okay. There's been so many characters. I'm trying to remember the beginning of the case when we were talking about Joe Dunn and Bobby Yale. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow related to chemical agents. The very normal <laughs> information uh, from the beginning of the case just kind of doesn't make sense anymore completely has I lost don't the thread. remember a single black sad case in any comic doing this <laughs> yeah like an extreme conspiracy with 75 characters and like a secret lab and stuff like this is a very video game narrative very separate from the comic it's, it's adapting it's very strange ooh 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 it was floating separately from your hand subject Brunhilde Gruner. Treatment, day 1,500. The patient's ability to speak... Oh my god, this thing is glitching worse now. now yep, it's still skipping the dialogue automatically. The occasional word in German. T 
this degeneration persists. Awkward shuffle. <laughs> and yet, perhaps due to drastic reduction of benzylpodine dosage and an increase of anupropion, we have observed a 3% of deceleration of said degeneration. Furthermore, and perhaps this is the best finding so far, the subject exhibits a mild recovery of her speaking. It's not a lot, and yet... We are on the right track. All hope is not lost. These are always funny, because like there's no reason to film yourself doing that. No. It's 100% just to make... Whenever this happens in, in stories, it's almost always exclusively just to make that character a visible character in the narrative. Yeah. Because it's just basic notes that you can just write down without using an expensive camera with physical film. Yeah, celluloid is highly flammable and extremely expensive. So. I don't like that in the middle of his turning animation, his hand moves separately from the roll. Subject it's freaking me Plague out. Spano. Treatment de zero. The subject is a veteran baseball player who has lost speed, strength, and agility due to the regular aging process. The patient refers intense pain on the right scapula, most likely caused by an old injury. The goals injury. of our medical approach are twofold. <laughs> to relieve pain caused by the prior injury so that the subject can play without symptoms and to help the patient regain the physical condition lost in the aging process, thus allowing him to perform at elite levels. Oh, <laughs> I thought the game crashed for a second. <laughs> yeah, that was worrying. The patient no longer feels <laughs> pain when using his right arm, circumstance that allows him to pitch without fear. So far, the only side effect seems to be a slight euphoria experienced three hours after dosage, which subsides four hours later, taking the patient on an emotional roller coaster of sorts with bouts of mild trembling. Treatment, day 341. Moments of euphoria and boosted physical performance have become increasingly short while the ensuing periods of depression and weakness have become longer, including severe trem. Although we have met all therapeutic goals, we will proceed to terminate the treatment. In order to avoid causing irreparable physical and mental damage to the patient, well, that's not really meeting treatment goals now, is it? All right. I can only guess that they just didn't change the durations of each line from the Spanish language version. Probably. So they're just randomly longer or shorter than they're supposed to be. All right, let's see. Uh, list of names, pill bottles with athletes' names in the labs. Oh, uh. no. There we go. Mitchell is cashing in by selling drugs to enhance athletes' performances. Gasp. We knew that. Hey, You're it's all right. Don't it's be not better the second girl. time. Uh, it's not. It's still terrifying. Uh, I'm afraid. Maybe this okay. is the half horse Peter, hybrid. <laughs> no, no. <gasps> <laughs> Child acting. Maybe it's terrifyingly is maybe this is the rat doctor de-aged. 
No. The genetic, the genetic <laughs> mishap experiment. Um, once upon a time, once upon a time, there was a brave seafaring little girl called Brunhilda. Hi, my name is Brunhilda, and I'm very happy. <laughs> said Brunhilda, and then Brunhilda, who had a beautiful name, really beautiful, a really beautiful name, ran into someone very special. Oh, who was it? A sea cat called John. I'm a sea cat. My name is John. <laughs> I'm John the cat. I really like sea cat. Hi, Brother Hilda. I'm going to use my sea furry wisdom to help you. Sea furry wils wisdom. <laughs> I hate that this is foreshadowed by the terrifying fish cat. <laughs> it is. I love balloons. What's your favorite balloon color? Wow, that's a very hard question. <gasps> but John the Cat, <laughs> it's the easiest question in the world. Let me show you how easy it is. My favorite balloon color is... Pink. I'm trying to imagine the scene playing out. Wow, Brunelda. In the comic. <laughs> that's exactly what I was about to say. Burn. <laughs> John. Brunhilda. Front. <laughs> Do play. It's look. <laughs> uh, okay. Hi, bird. Why are you wearing that mask? Well, uh, God. Uh, well, maybe we should get out of here. What do you think, bird? And what about you, Boonhilda? Mm -hmm. Don't you think that? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> the lid is not synced at all. <laughs> what are we supposed to think about her just passing out mid conversation? What I is, don't what is it know. supposed to mean? <coughs> Act like a good dad or leave her be. Jesus. This is what you <laughs> did last time. You abandoned her on the floor, you monster. And you were punished by having to replay the last 20 minutes of the game again. <laughs> she scares me. What is she? What is the What am I looking at? Why? Why is she? Is maybe a better question. She's a gelfling. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? What she looks like. Why is there a gelfling in Black Sad? Okay, so we can't move. Is this what happens when you have this extreme sexual dimorphism and you're like, this is what girl rats look like? <laughs> reet, 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 reet. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. I thought we interacted with everything. No, I don't know what's happening. And we can't Can go back upstairs yet. They uh, won't be go back upstairs. Somewhat frustratingly is I, I figure you're probably supposed to trigger like a scene with the monkey. Uh, you, that's what I was thinking is that we're going to have to fight the monkey. Something you, yeah. but it just doesn't seem like there's anything to interact with. Oh my God. Yeah, there's there's nothing in here that I can interact with. So what in you. the world is going on? I'm looking around, I'm trying to see if there's stuff to play with. Doesn't seem to be anything over here. Doesn't seem to be anything on the table. Maybe there's some. Maybe it's right here. No. We're in the part of the adventure game where you rub up on everything, and mash the uh, interact button to see if it will let you interact. <laughs> Apollo says that the the girl Brunhilda is the uh, Lord of the Rings Gollum crossover. <laughs> oh, ah, well you you said we should play that game. Yeah. We did it. Maybe we'll it's do it over. next. Maybe no. maybe Lord of the Rings Gollum is our next game. That will go great. Uh, why do you hate me? Why do I hate you? <laughs> yeah. What? Why would you do that to me? 
I need some excuse to play bad games, Keith. Uh, <laughs> seriously, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is going on right now? Do you have any d deductions? Yes, we do. Good you luck, fool. Keith. How was I supposed Always to know? Always check. Because that's the one thing you always do whenever you don't have a thing to do. Nah. <laughs> nah. The worst part of Mitchell's scheme isn't that it's illegal or unethical. It's that he didn't even care about compromising the athlete's health. I mean, that's literally what unethical means. <laughs> yeah, what, what, wait, wait, what, what do you mean? What, what did you think unethical meant? <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> there it goes. Here comes Monkey. Wow. We know this game like the back of our Keith? hands. You know you're not allowed down here. You That's know not you're not allowed. It's... You bastard. I kill you right here, right <laughs> now. Uh, Damn. I don't know. You don't know? I know you're testing drugs on that girl. Brunhilde? No. She's my daughter. What Black said? She was born with a degenerative disease. That surprised a rare you? condition similar to the Angleman syndrome. That does not look like a baby There rat. are only four known cases like hers, and none of the patients reached the age of five. But I couldn't give up. I continued to research <laughs> and found something. It didn't make her better, but anyway, that same treatment used on healthy subjects seems to improve their stamina and their reflexes it also seems to improve their pain threshold mm -hmm. somehow the reich heard about my experiment uh, and tried to recruit <laughs> me to create super soldiers uh, cat yes, hitler just like a mouse we're talking late 30s berlin uh, I escaped with Brunhilde and came to your country. But the American military also heard about me. He's way cuter in comics than when he's drawn the noise 3D. Experimenting with drugs on soldiers. Some were highly effective, I must say. When the war was over, my experiments were discarded. I was forbidden all access to the drugs and Brunhilde got worse. But then God sent me Angus Mitchell. We had met during the war and he came to offer me a deal. I would make drugs for athletes and he would sell them. With my earnings, I could pay for Brunhilde's treatment. What else do you want me to say? I noticed Yale's name appears twice on your list of athletes. One mention was crossed out. Why? I don't know. A couple of months ago, Mitchell told me to prepare pills suited to his profile. But a week ago, he told me to stop. And then two days ago, he asked me to make them again. About those pills. Hmm. When was two days ago? Wasn't that when he was in the hospital? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much time has passed over the course of this case. <laughs> there was a bottle there before. Oh, did Spano steal them? The Yale pills? Yeah. There was a bottle there before. Well, yeah. Dingus, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else is there? There was a bottle here before. It's gone oh. now. He's a rat. What is he looking at? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good senses, Black said. You caught it just in time. Don't dwell on it, Josh. You had to tell him the truth in order to protect Brunhilda. I would have done the same thing. 
Finish packing up your things and stop torturing yourself, okay? Thanks, Angus. I won't be long. Oh, honey. You like living here? Yeah, me too. But we have to go somewhere else, and it's all that bad cat's fault. Yes, sweetie. We're going to a new home now. A pretty one. Get a and you'll be happier there. Now I go with Papa, honey. Going for her. Give him a kiss. Go on. Give him a kiss. Go on. <laughs> I'm, and he's gonna shoot both of them. I'm sorry about this, Josh, but we gave it our best, didn't we? What? What do you mean, Angus? I wish it hadn't come to this. Angus, what's wrong? Goodbye, Josh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. No! If only they were... If only they were meteor literate, they could have noticed how obviously they were about to be betrayed. What the f I hope you're happy, you son of a bitch. They were good people. <laughs> I hope that made you feel better. I like it when you smile. Where'd the you're monkey so far go? From the truth. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I guess that was him. I... What, what an unnecessary murder. Yeah. Needlessly. <laughs> oh. uh, impressive. What? what? I pushed the button! Oh, <laughs> again, it happens every time. <laughs> uh. <laughs>